Okay. So, assuming I have everything set up right, which is always a little touch and go, I think I'm streaming. Streaming and creaming. Except I need the remote. Okay. I want to make sure it's not too loud. There we go. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, yeah. This is Super Apartment Friends. I'm Matt. We're doing Kaiju Lai, which is just Kaiju in July. Uh, so I'm doing monster games all month. And uh, friend of the stream and Super Apartment Friends Vice President, uh, Erikio, requested the Game Boy Color Godzilla 98 cartoon game. So, lo and behold, you'll notice Rikyo's not on stream yet. What's that about? Um, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Hope everybody's having a good night. Jess just got done telling me about a crazy dream she had where she was best friends with Reggie Watts and Scott Ackerman and Adam Scott, and they were on a slide. And I'm really jealous of the dreams she has because of shit like that. And, uh, yeah. We had a lot of lightning bugs tonight. That was pretty cool. I mean, we always have some lightning bugs, but there was like a zillion of them tonight. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, I guess I'll start playing the game, but I kind of also just want to talk about how we're almost done with the original Star Trek series. We got two episodes left because we discovered Next Generation like last November and fell in love with it, knocked it out fast. For like a seven season long show. Um, and then after that we are like. Oh my god we got to watch more Star Trek. We got to watch more Star Trek. And so we went back to the original series. We're going to knock that out. Then we're going to watch all the movies. Then we're going to watch Deep Space Nine. Then we're going to watch Voyager. Then we're maybe going to watch Enterprise. And then like who knows from there. Battlestar Galactica. Maybe uh. Oh, there was another, oh, Lex, the sexy one that was on, like, Showtime. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're pretty jazzed about that. I'm jazzed about this music. Oh, yeah, I got another Godzilla shirt. Uh, tonight it is Best Friends, and you got Jet Jaguar and Godzilla, and they're best friends. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's a funny one. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. This is based on the cartoon based on the 1998 Godzilla movie, which uh, a lot of fans, a lot of fans dig the cartoon. I saw a little bit of it and like Ricky and I were talking about last night, I find that art style kind of ugly, but I appreciated what they were going for because he's kind of cool looking. The game's nice looking too. So we'll, I, uh, I don't know if you can pick that up, little roar there. Oh, we could. <laughs> All right, Pabwort. Just kidding. Oh, Mot de Pass. What a language of love. Options is the same though. Excellent. Uh, we'll do born old English. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Yeah, this is another game. I did I did toy around with this. So what's the 411? There's a large electrical monster attacking a building downtown. We heed or we'd better check it out. I can't believe you dragged me out of bed at this hour. Oh, th these guys aren't as ugly looking as I remember. I saw it on the news. That thing. Party party. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Randy, you and Elise, check out that building. Craven, we'll try and follow that creature. It was last seen in the bus yards. And bring Midgel. <laughs> Pretty sure that was Nigel, but it looked like Midgel. It looks like Godzilla can sense some things up as well. Let's move out. That cartoon man was a lot handsomer than Matthew Roderick. So, yeah, I can do this. Prepare. <laughs> and then this. And that's it, that long animation. I'm constantly scrolling forward. I can't... Oh, I can do that. I can cover my head. Oh, and I have a guard meter up top to help me with that. So, yeah. I don't know why these... I don't know why these bad dudes are defending this other... This electricity monster, but... 
you know, so it goes. Oh, <laughs> yep. Nick. Boy, that was the only joke they had in that movie, too, wasn't it, Riccio? Oh, yeah, Nick Tatsapatsapapapapap. Yep, he's got a funny last name. That and the mayor looked like Ebert. That was, that was it. That was their whole joke budget. I wish, I, and I guess it would maybe make the game too easy. I wish I had like a crosshair or something like on Yoshi's Island. That would make this more doable. Look at that little adorable tank. Oh. Oh, oh. This tail move is pointless. I guess that's for the monster when I fight another monster. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> do you wish, that's it. You're done. I do wish to continue. Against all odds. Who <laughs> hey, farts and procreation like them sloths. I know that's Jess. Oh yeah, look at me go. Oh, there's a bazooka man. There's no music. It's just my footsteps. It's funny that they uh because, you know, this 98 Godzilla was famously the lean forward T-Rex style. So it's funny that they made him upright like a like a regular Godzilla. I mean, his neck's kind of hunched over still, but... Oh, no. There we go. What are these little cars that are coming at me? Foot stomp, level one. Did I just earn something? How do you do thing? Maybe both buttons at once? No. Bam, bam, bam. Ah, oh, shit. Look at that little cartoon ass tank. Bam, 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 bam. Low flying fighter jets. Bam, bam. Yeah. It's kind of satisfying. It's kind of satisfying to nail these shit. You know what's... <laughs> Boy. Unforgiving. I, uh... I don't know how far I'm going to get in this. Ah, oh, you're getting serious lag. That's a bummer. I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what I can do to fix that. Sadly. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Pause. Select. Oh, select is my my foot stompies. Can I do that again? Doesn't do anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if they get too close, bam, and stomp them up. I can stomp the yard, as it were. Yeah. Ooh, claw swipe? How do you do a claw swipe? Because if select is my foot stomp... Oh, boy. This is the next Skyrim. I keep unlocking moves. Frimp, 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 frimp. Oh no! Yeah. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Yeah, fuck y'all. I need to get some health back. Prepare, prepare! No! Oh, these bazooka guys are always what gets me. I'm too slow for them. Oh, I made it. For now. There we go. Stomp, stomp the yard, baby. All right. I was on the brink of death. Why is the army so mad at me? I haven't done shit to anybody. You guys are bungholes. <laughs> ha. I will say, this is about as complicated as any of the puzzles in Skyrim. Oh, sick burn on Skyrim puzzles. 
Come to Super Apartment Friends for the hot takes. Can you even handle it? Shamp, shamp. So, Rikio, I, I also have the other Godzilla the Series game, uh, Monster Wars, and I have not looked at that yet. Why do I keep... It's so weird, I keep leveling up. Um, but yeah, I have the Monster Wars one. I haven't cracked that open yet, and I'm, you know, I don't know how much longevity this one's going to have, but to keep the spirit of uh, the Godzilla 98 cartoon alive, I might crack that open, but I want to I wanna see if you, if that's on your radar at, our, at all, if you've played that or know about it, because I'm kind of curious about it. Pshamp, <laughs> Oh, and I totally have Friday the 28th and Monday the 31st as options for like a big super stream to kind of close out Kaiju Live, kind of catch up on anything that we miss between now and then. So let's keep that in mind too. I'm kind of psyched about that. I don't know if I'll do both days. I might. But um, I'm for sure going to do at least one of those. Do do a big, long daytime stream. I think that'll be really cool. And hopefully by then, I'll be able to get a hold of some of the, some of the PlayStation and some of the disc-based games. Kind of like I was talking about the other night. I haven't, I haven't really been able to get a good lock on any disc-based games yet. Which is too bad because that includes like Godzilla Generations and a couple really cool-looking Ultraman games and... and and a uh, a Star Fox style game starring Ga Gamera, which I desperately want to try out. So we'll see. I gotta squeeze in some Rampage at some point. Um, I mean, not like tonight, but uh, I definitely want to get some Rampage in there, and I want to get some Primal Rage going too. I feel like it would be remiss to not do those. And probably King of the Monsters also, that uh, that Neo Geo wrestling game. Because that's pretty cool. Speaking of Skyrim, have you heard about this new game announced at E3 called Skyrim? Yeah, it's weird. It's coming out for toasters, right? You can play it on you can play it on your TI-83 uh, graphing calculator. That's seriously, I I kinda dig that. Like, all joking aside, I, I get a kick out of it being the the Tetris of 2017, where it's just, fuck it, put it on everything. Everybody wants it. It's a cool game. Uh, I, think it, I think it deserves to be ported everywhere like that. It's not perfect, but uh, pretty, pretty damn cool. I mean, it's not as good as this, but... Oh, my fireballs level two. I keep dying, but they like they save my my leveling up, which is great. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but it's surprising. Oh, it's so hard to time those those blasts. What are these little? It's like a car that shoots a missile at me. And then we got like a missile truck. Boom. <laughs> Yes! It is it is really satisfying when you nail the shit. Oh, like that! Okay, I'm kind of getting into it. I like a, I like a simple game. When um, we went to this, there's a cool arcade that's like near-ish us. And uh, it's one of those deals where certain days of the week you just play a flat rate. And, and you can just play everything for as long as you want. And um, I really got into... Oh shit, what's it called? The Moon Buggy one. I can't think of the name. Moon Patrol. And, uh, just an old, simple game. I mean, not not too simple, though. Because it's, uh, it's a combination, like, driving, platforming, and shooting. And it's great. Just, I, I don't know, man. I dig a, I dig an old arcade game. So I'm kind of getting in the zone with this one. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it, for sure. 
<laughs> I know, I do condone better. I'm fine with it, man. Like, is it as exciting as getting an actual new game? Of course not. But everybody likes Skyrim. And it's, I mean, it's kind of amazing. Now it's like, it's like when Doom went to every system under the sun. It's kind of like, it seems like a cool programming challenge at this point. Like, if you can shoehorn this game onto, you know, a 3DS, that's, that's pretty fucking amazing. There we go. I gotta remember to block sometimes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Cramp, cramp. Oh, a twofer? Ba blam! Oh, I'm kicking ass now. I'm in the zone, baby. Look at this. <laughs> How long does this go for? <laughs> I feel like this is the rest of my life. Plant, 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 plant. Oh, oh my god. I'm not familiar with all of... Like like I said, I've only seen a couple episodes of this. That was cool. That was cool. <laughs> Hi, Joel. <laughs> it seems that the creature is made of pure electromagnum injury. Rand Randy. Elsie, have you found anything out? We're at the Manhattan Mural Center, Mickey. There was one room in the building that was totally undamaged. Belonging to a guy named Sidney Walker. According to his diary, he's a patient here suffering from... Insomnia. They've tried amplifying his brainwaves in an attempt to cure him. Oh, yeah. You gotta amplify brainwaves to make somebody sleepy. Randy's just about to meet him. Great. Hey, Walker, know anything about a 300-foot monster roaming the city? What are we talking... Why is this happening? <laughs> why did why did two monsters come face-to-face -face and then we watched a bunch of people talk about stuff? Okay. Okay. I'm going to just spam them with fireballs, I guess, and then block... Ow. I like the, the the guard meter is cool. I kind of dig that. Oh. Oh. Take two. Champ. 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 Hopefully I'll unlock a Pabs Tord. basically colossal with a sick dude yeah that's i was gonna say i was kind of goofing on the uh the exposition there but that's a really cool premise i get why i get why people were into this show because i know they, they they it seemed like they did some neat stuff like uh i know they gave this godzilla like a mate with uh i think the the monster was komoda thrax right it was a similar dinosaur kind of monster um, and then they, the cool, one of the coolest things that, that I heard about was they took, or aliens, they, they worked aliens into the plot at some point and they, they dug up the corpse of the original 98 Godzilla and then reanimated him as a cyborg. And I'm like, that's, that's pretty fucking cool. Like that kind of retroactively makes the movie cooler. So I, I, you know, I get it. I don't know if I I don't know if I would sit down and watch all of it, but there was clearly some cool stuff going on there. It actually it makes me think of there was a, a really neat article I read uh, a few weeks ago that was um, written by the dude who this like the the screenwriter for the real Ghostbusters cartoon that you know the eighty six one, and he was he was just talking about how he got the job, how everybody in the animation industry was like really lobbying you know everybody kind of knew that that would be the dope gig to get as a cartoon writer and um that's a that's a show i watched a couple years ago just as, for a goof 
I watched a few episodes of that. It's pretty fucking good. Like it's it's you know a goofball kids show, but like they they worked a lot of really smart stuff into there. Not a lot of, you know, you see it more now, but back then you probably weren't going to find another cartoon that had like H.P. Lovecraft references in it. You know, like yeah, there was some pun monsters, but there was also some, you know, fucking old Celtics you know demonology and shit it's pretty cool uh or an episode where they're trapped in satan's game show i'm like this is this is pretty cool they're having fun with this premise and it kind of seems like they did that with with this too it's a long walk that that other monster is really fast bus Depot. Oh, and the E's falling off. Whoa. New York's so grimy. Oh, yeah, here we go. Blip, 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 blip. Oh, I need to block. I did not block. There we go. This is kind of sweet, man. Like, I would say the walking segments are too long. But, uh. I don't know. It's neat to see different. <laughs> Randy, keep antagonizing Sleeping Beauty. It seems to be having a negative effect on the Crackler. Okay, Hefe. Hate your name. Hate your job. You hate the Mets. No. What are you talking about? I've been a Mets fan. Okay, this, this is kind of this is cute. It's I don't know, man. I never would have thought to. I never would have given this a chance, Riccio. I'm glad I'm checking this out now. They're pitching reeks. Boom. You done. If you watch the show, you get the impression that these people were super pissed with Emmerich. Yeah, I believe it. Well, yeah, shit. They, they retroactively, like, you know, gave him the, the atomic breath and every episode's a monster fight. Oh, I should write that down. I'm not even playing. I'm going to write that down. I want to stick with this one for a minute. I'm getting a pen. Okay. Let's do this. N L F B G T J B M K I'm really glad there's not zeros and O's. That's always a fucking buzzkill with passwords. Or, uh, or ones, L's, and capital I's. Those are pretty brutal, too. Yeah, oh yeah. This is, like, my favorite shirt. Uh, it makes me really happy. <laughs> That's a pretty good compressed, uh, man, Game Boy Color. Hey, this isn't me. Hicks, do you read me, Major Hicks? This is Nick Tappa Tappa Poop. Do you copy? Call off your man. Repeat, call off your man. <laughs> Hicks, uh, Hicks needs to lay off the cheeseburgers, I think. Uh oh. Oh, Shadow Army? Controlled by the Illuminati? Do I have more health now? This is kind of sweet. This is like man, like the like the Gamera game. It's kind of, if you sit, if you if you give it a chance, it's kind of neat. I like seeing how different developers try to approach playing as a giant monster because that's a weird challenge, and every everybody seems to have a different take on it. And they all seem so far they all have their pros and cons. But I'd say they're you know they haven't quite cracked it yet exactly. Shrimp, 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 shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp. What is that supposed to be? Like a little robot? Shrimp, shrimp. Hope we get some different locations, because I think I've seen all of these buildings three or four times now. 
Oh, my fire something leveled up. It's adorable little perfectly green tank. <laughs> champ, 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 champ. Yeah, my health bar is way huge. That's cool. That's cool. I like... Man, anything where you level up, I'm I'm a sucker for. I mean, not anything, but it's a it's a good way to rope me in. Well, I don't know. You know, I don't know what legendary would do with him. And I think I mean he's a PR nightmare, right? I think it's too I yeah, I think it's too early. I think it would confuse people. I I know he's he's gotten some cool he's gotten some play in some of the IDW comics. Um what was that? I think Rulers of Earth gave him a nice like mini arc. Almost like a redemption arc. You should check that out. I don't think we'll see him in a movie because I think it would be I think it'd be too hard for people to wrap their brains around. But, I mean, we'll see. It depends on... It really depends... I'm so curious about what is happening for the series beyond uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. I mean, ultimately, it's going to just boil down to money. Um, but, you know, it's like... I mean, my my shtick... And I, I was talking about this on Tumblr today. My My dream scenario is that after... Uh, after Godzilla vs. Kong, they unveil... Oh, cool! They unveil their, their Phase 3 plans, and it includes bringing Gamera into the MonsterVerse, because I think he would be a really cool addition. And then you work your way up to... Uh, you work your way up to a Destroy All Monsters legendary style. Oh, bye, boy! <laughs> You know those coral reefs right off the shore of Manhattan. These adorable little submarines. The like cartoon ass submarines. How strange. You know the credits the credits play on the title screen. Was that a dolphin with a rocket launcher? What is going on? Oh, he's blowing me up with sonic waves. What a dick. What is this little truck? What is going on? This was somewhat realistic, and then it goes bonkers on the second level. This is amazing. Hang on, I want to see what you're. I want to see what you're saying, Riccio. Oh, okay. I could see that working. Have him be. Have Zilla be like a doppelganger type thing. <laughs> right right this is either this is either the tiniest godzilla or the giantest ass atlantic ocean coral reefs shrimp 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 i want somebody to speed up this animation so he's headbanging uh-oh look at this big sub I'm hoping that super helicopter is underwater. Ah, oh, the Titanic! Oh no, our heart went on. Oh, there's so many bombs. Ouchie. That's kind of adorable. FYI. Kind of like these dumb little Lego trucks. Shamp, shamp. <laughs> these weaponized dolphins. What is this, Sea Quest? Reference for none. <laughs> Nobody watched motherfucking Sequest except me. Which I chose over Star Trek as a kid. Because Sequest had a talking dolphin. And that's what this guy wanted to see, apparently. Oh yeah, my bite's level 3. I don't know how to use the bite, but it's level 3 now. And that's all that counts.
the dolphins weren't in the show, but they needed to be canon. Yeah, that's that's some that's some dope shit. The show did have Nessie. <laughs> yeah, man. I uh, well, they you know they I don't ever use that move, but they you know you can see his butt if you want. Oh, he does it. He he's got two different animations. There you go. Oh shit! I should stop letting myself get hit with missiles. Oh damn. Ooh, this is hard to this is hard to parse out. There we go. Framp, 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 framp. This, you know, it kind of reminds me of the NES game, Monster of Monsters. I mean, it's the same basic idea. I kind of like this better, uh, especially because Devil Dolphins coming at me. Blah, blah, blah. Actually, they're white, so there's pro those are probably beluga whales, which is even funnier. Champ, 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 champ. This is a useless move. Oh, we're back on land. Oh shit, here we go. Bam. <laughs> Remember how Godzilla always misses the first couple times he tries to breathe on something? Look at this beautiful tropical island. This is about to be a coke deal gone wrong. I guess I, can, I should just pause it. I'm trying to be a hot dogger and do everything live. Switching over to sweet tea. <laughs> yeah, man. That butt wiggle, right? It is. He kind of... This... This, uh... This design is like the stripper Godzilla. Because he, like... He humps that building... And he pole dances at one. I mean that. I mean they used it in the cartoon, the pole dance scene. I think. Uh, I think this Godzilla is the reason why we got those gross uh, kaiju girls back in like 2005. Remember that? Ted and I were talking about how horrifying that was. I don't know if you were on that stream, or if you were on there yet. But it's like, ugh, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes Riccio I had a feeling I had a feeling if I if I made that request you might you'd probably be the dude to come through on that because look how funny would that be rock and roll you speed it up you, you you have it flashing colors and then you have it flashing party hard at the bottom and that's how you go viral my dude you're going to be the next keyboard cat. Boom. Dude, I think I'm going to kill this game tonight. Look how big my health bar is. I had to lose. I just had to lose at the first level like 20 times. Now I'm a boss. Ooh, they can take multiple hits. That's scary. Champ, 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 champ. Yeah, man, I, I don't blame anybody that likes this monster design. It's just the movie is bad. <laughs> and it's just, it's just not Godzilla. Like, it's a cool, it is a cool looking monster. But it's just not, it just is not Godzilla. Which is fine. There's room for plenty of other monsters. The more the fucking the more the better in my book. Rikyo, did you see Colossal? Because I wanted to check it out, but it was playing in like seven theaters, so I did not get to watch it yet. It was so funny seeing the like fan community get up in arms about it because first you had the the promotional materials that they were passing out to possible investors, which had just a picture of Godzilla. And a picture of, of, I think it was Mazinger. I don't know how to say it. But that, that you know, that anime robot. And so Toho wanted to sue them. And then fans were like, oh my god, I can't believe they thought they could use the image of Godzilla. And it's like, well, that's just to sell it to investors. That wasn't... Nacho Vigalando wasn't like, oh yeah. <laughs> we can just use that design, right? And then a bunch of people are mad that it's about 
abusive relationships and alcoholism and it's like well that's awesome there's enough we're getting enough of these now that they don't have to be you know the just the the classic here are monsters they're fighting we're, we're getting enough of these movies now that they can experiment with stuff like uh i hope rampage is weird I'm fucking geeked about that i'm hoping it's goofy i feel like rampage would be a good one to make funny Kind of like, I mean, it's probably just because The Rock is in them both, but the uh, the previews for the new Jumanji look fun. It doesn't look, like, good, but it looks, I mean, I'd watch it on HBO. <laughs> you know, I thought I saw something about a home video release for Colossal. Um... But I can't remember what it was. It might have been... It might. I want to say it was maybe August. The Seeker's Engine. What are you guys talking... This is for people that were watching this show religiously. Because I do not know what they're talking about most of the time. I like that one of the characters is named Craven, though. One, I hope he's a coward. And two, I hope it's a reference to, to Wes Craven. But I don't know if that's the case. Achoo. <laughs> is there anything you're not allergic to? 90s snark. Gotta love it. Everybody had to be sarcastic in the 90s. Could we be any more sarcastic? Ah, <laughs> oh, B. <laughs> That's cool though. No, we're on we're on like mysterious island. So yeah, giant bugs. There you go, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's just that I went with rock bottom expectations for these games, but they keep exceeding them. Ooh, my fireball is nice and big now. This is cool. This is pretty cool, man. I feel like Nintendo Power back in the day would have been like, 5 out of 10. The play control isn't great, but the presentation is alright. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, it's pretty cool. Assuming this wasn't $60, you know? I guess that's a big deal breaker, too. If this was 15 or 20 at the time, fine. But if this was 40 to 60, fuck that. No. <laughs> Zelda, it's not. It's a decent little action game. It, it reminds me of old school arcade games in a good way. We got some way different locations here. So, you know, kind of cool. Man, I hope I hope I get more I hope I get more experiences like this. Like I hope all the other weirdo games I check out are kind of cool like this. You know, for a long time I was uh, I was kind of over Rampage. I was like, "Oh, Rampage is fun for 5 minutes and then you get bored." And then at that arcade, playing, uh, we're playing World Tour with uh, with my buddy Ralph. We sat there and played it for like a fucking hour, <laughs> like. And I think I think with that one, it just really shot. Oh shit! Oh my god! I think Rampage really shines as a multiplayer game, but we'll see. I'll bust it out. <laughs> Ooh. Colossal's free online. Oh, no, you're playing this game on your gaming laptop. I use, um, to stream, I use OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast Software. <laughs> yeah, if you, I was going to say, if, if, uh, if you're using some of the same sources I did, there's, there's actually a bunch of, I got to say, uh, wow, well, I don't want to incriminate too much. I'll just say, you know, finding games to play is not like it was 10 years ago. You can find a lot more shit now. But yeah, OBS is what I use uh, to stream onto Twitch. And, and you can also use that just to record video too. So, you got options, my man. Champ, champ, champ. Fuck you, bees. I'm kicking ass now. 
I do love that. I love that progression, and you that's mostly with with games with RPG elements. The original Kid Icarus was, oh, look at this big bee. Bam, suck it, bee. Uh-oh, oh, called in little buddies. But yeah, the, the original Kid Icarus was really good about making you start off as like a putz, and then you become a badass by the end of the game. And of course, Metroid. Metroid's famous for that. This, I will say this is very simplistic, like, because it really is just aim and shoot. But, you know. So was Space Invaders, and everybody loved that. Granted, that came out in, like, 1979, and this came out in 1999, but, you know. What are you going to do? Ricky, I am listening to you. I believe in you. I'm really psyched about this. I'm glad, I'm glad I could uh, inspire you to become a viral sensation. You're going to be the king of Tumblr, my man. Pimp. 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 Andrew WK will probably retweet that shit. And I mean, what else do you want in life? Oh, that tank lit me up. It doesn't matter. Oh, shit. There we go. I like getting revenge on guys. Like, if they roll up and hit me a few times and I miss, but I can hit them on the way out, I feel pretty good about that. Blam. Woo. Uh-oh, bazooka guys. These dudes are bad news. There we go. All right. Godzilla, close your mouth once in a while. It makes you look dumb. I wonder... If the Monster War, if the Godzilla the series Monster Wars game is exactly like this, I'll play it. I don't give a fuck. Alright, I'm taking another drink. Look at that gigantic vine wrapping around that tree. What does it mean? Biolanti cameo? I accept. It is pretty satisfying to shoot shit down. You could make this into an iPhone game, and I think people I think people would dig it. He's a little phallic, isn't he? That neck. Getting some neck over here. Double shot. Love it. So the uh, the new Planet of the Apes movie comes out this weekend. And Justin, I really liked the last two. And apparently DJ Khaled had nothing but wonderful things to say about this. And apparently Twitter needed me to know that. Uh <laughs> So I'm kind of curious about it. The trailer had a really corny line from uh, from Woody Harrelson, but I don't know. I'm curious about it. I'm willing to give it a shot. Spam it up. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Ba blam ba blam ba blam ba blam. It's funny, this game is in color, uh, but I think the Gamera game from last night looked better. Never bet against the lizard ring. I bet that was Lizard King, but the G and the K ran together. So it looked like Lizard Ring. Okay, people, let's move out. He's a really part he's a real party pooper, isn't he? I'm gonna keep writing these down. I probably don't need to, but fuck it. I haven't gotten to do this in a while. This is nostalgic. I haven't had to do this since, uh, really since Super Nintendo. That was kind of the last, last era that had a lot of passwords. <laughs> Whatever, Smash 3 is good. I know we'll never agree on that. 
Smashing creativity should be called Smash for no benefit. Should be called Bejeweled. What? Hey man, it's a fucking cool version of Bejeweled. Just saying. Oh, here we go. Oh, amazing cutscene. This is kind of interesting that the army is like the main villain. Is that how it was on the show? Or like this, this you know, paramilitary mercenary unit. That's kind of cool. That's that's another interesting angle I wouldn't have guessed. It's like an evil monarch. Ooh, we're in a a crappy jungle now. <laughs> it's ugly here. Look at my score! That doesn't mean anything. I guess, or that's probably how they calculate uh, when my moves level up. Oh shit. Stomp him up. Your, oh, your version has save slots? That is funny. I wonder why this one didn't. <laughs> that was fucking weird. Oh, shit. This is what happens when I look at chat instead of playing the game. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really neat, because, like... You look at other types of video games, shooters are pretty much figured out, platformers are pretty much figured out, RPGs, we got it, falling block puzzle games, donezo, but nobody's really cracked a kaiju game yet. Like, we've got a bunch that are, that get close, and some get closer than others, but nobody's really nailed it. You don't see a bunch of Rampage ripoffs, like, like Doom clones used to be back in the 90s. I know it's, I know he's he's not a kaiju, but I feel like it would scratch the same itch. I want to I want to take another look at uh, Hulk Ultimate Destruction from a couple generations ago, because I feel like that's kind of the closest thing we would get to like a good King Kong game. I mean, the Peter Jackson one's probably fine, but you don't always play as him. But when it comes to like strictly playing, oh look at this, we're in a, we're in the Bayou. JW Stillwater is going to come after me on his fan boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Reference for none. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Talking about kaiju games, though. Because it's kaiju life. And I'm a kaiju guy. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck you, helicopter. Ba blam. Ba blam. It's a strong boat. <laughs> Titanoplopla clicks. Had to convince them that he was more of a help than a harm, and sometimes his actions would cause minor harm, either through enemy influence or attempts to chase his prey. Okay. Ah, oh, Ricky, you got that you got that memory, my man? Let's influence an election with it. <sighs> Gross. Look at this underwater truck. What was the What was the idea behind that? Like the one guy who made all the sprites for this game was like, "What if there was like a monster truck, but it was on the ocean floor?" I mean, don't get me wrong, that sounds as I was saying it, I'm like, "Oh, that sounds awesome." Why don't we have that in real life? Wouldn't that be an easy way to explore the sea? Just saying. And then you could have a really kick-ass Fast and the Furious sequel, where they have to drive underwater cars. Though, rumors are stating the next one's probably going to send them to space, 
and I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. Good, is what I'm saying. About time. I want to see them drive cars on the moon. It'll be the best. Oh yeah, get you water truck. <laughs> this is, uh... Yeah, this is really... Is it just this forever? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I bet I could be, I, I, well, I can't imagine, I mean, I'm, we gotta be like halfway through it, right? I'm thinking it's probably not longer than this, or probably not longer than that. I'm thinking I could beat this tonight. I know, I know I said, I'm getting cocky. Uh, I said the same shit last night with Gamera, and we, we saw how that turned out. I got a feeling about this one, though. I think we could end this thing. Yeah, I've got three passwords. We're going to be coming up on number four soon. Real soon, it looks like. No, they got, they got way the hell away. Bye. Sayonara, baby. Soft wearing is hard. That is some real shit. Look at that blue bee. That was beautiful. Oh, I feel bad killing them, almost. I'm sure it'll shoot shit at me. <laughs> I like the guys just like, oh, everybody else explodes. And I bet that was, I bet that was an ESRB requirement. You can't make the men explode. They have to just fall off the screen and look sad. Everything else can explode, though. Just not a guy. Oh, shit. Oh, I misjudged the tank. <laughs> I misjudged him a lot. I'm still doing fine, though. Yeah, fuck you, missile car. You're dead. Look at this. What are we in the... This is like the... The savannah? Are we in Africa? Is this... Is this Godzilla vs. Hedora 2? Bano's dream movie? Oh, I see you there, Blue Hornet. I see you trying to sneak up on me. Boom. I'm speedrunning this game, FYI. <laughs> Every time I play a game that I know nobody else on Twitch gives a shit about, I'm just going to claim that I'm speedrunning it. We're doing it. We're going to set the world record, you guys. Wow. Oh, shit. There we go. I knew he had bullets. I knew he had bullets, you little shit. Yeah, that's right. I haven't uh, I haven't leveled anything up in a while. That's kind of sad. I'm going to try and use that against a boss monster and see how that goes. Damn. Stomp. That's satisfying. I hope uh, I hope one of the locations before this game ends is a different planet. I'm pulling for that. I don't know if they ever did that on the cartoon, but it would be cool. <laughs> it's so hilarious to hit a single guy with this fucking 100 foot wide fireball. The same thing that I used to blow up a tank, I'll use to blow up one guy. Fuck him. Blam. Oh, oh, nope. There we go. Blam. Oh, we're doing it. Look at that pink sky. Wow. Oh, a tank. Okay. More army dudes. Oh, look at this. He's throwing a weird thing. Oh, it turns into a missile. Okay. Okay, buddy boy. Let's see what you're doing. Ultimately, it doesn't matter because I can just bomb your ass forever. Bye. Now I'll go chase ya. <laughs> right, yeah. Godzilla. That's true. That is, that is canonically accurate. Godzilla does treat machines and 
organic life roughly the same. If it pisses him off, he'll kill it. Which, you know, that's a philosophy I can get behind. Hence, Kaijulai. I never... I never know if the J in there, in Kaiju, should be a hard J or a soft J. Like, should that be Kaiju? Or is it Kaiju? I don't know. I kind of shy... Outside of this month, I kind of just opt for Monster because I know how to say it and people know what I'm saying when I say it a lot of lot of normies out in the world look at you like you're crazy if you say kaiju god help you if you're at a uh, work orientation and you say you like Godzilla movies they'll look at you like you're a serial killer <laughs> pro tip Little tank. Bye. Dunzo. Oh. There we go. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to keep stomping. Stomp the yard. Look at his dainty little legs. He's got quite a. Oh, here we go. Godzilla's using Slim Quick. Or, uh. Shit. What was the one Anna Nicole Smith used to advertise? Why would I... Why do I remember that? Late 90s. What a weird time. <laughs> oh, you're dead. What do you think the lights are on the side of that tank? I know the tank tread was on the bottom. But right above that, there was like flickering lights. On their army tank. K-F-T. Kill fucking taints. O-G-O. -O, or get out. N D B N Not Dick Butt Nut I'm a thirty three year old man ba Blam There must be some missing link between the missing swimmers and all this tar approaching on the beach. I don't know if there's a missing link there. I think the tar is just killing people. Oh, no, not his electrolytes. He needs Brondo. Yeah, once the food's digested, the tar is probably reabsorbed into the Predator's body. Um, that doesn't track with any of the Predator fanfiction I've written, guys. What kind of Predator? Ah, oh, Squidman. R.I.P. Squidman. Godzilla, yeah! Spoiler, the tar is a squid monster. Better than the one in Kong? I really like that one in Kong. But I mean, mostly because I liked that moment with Kong. It was less to do with the squid itself. I liked how they turned a monster fight into a quiet, like, character building moment for him. That was a cool movie. They, they did that shit right. I'm really hoping that kind of sets the tone for the rest of the MonsterVerse movies. Because that was... Again, I really like Godzilla 2014. Um, but... Skull Island had that, that mon more of that monster mash feel to it. That kind of balls to the wall. I mean, it, everybody, everybody said it. It felt like a Showa movie. And that's, in my book, that's high praise. That's like the highest praise. So there's squids that shoot tar instead of ink? Oh, look at that tricky. Oh, my God. That was Maverick flying that shit. Got the maneuvers. Or Will Smith from Independence Day. Look how the squids go like this. I mean, I guess that's kind of what they do in real life, but it just looks funny here. Oh, bye. Just shoot some missiles over my head, just to teach me a lesson. Ugh, it gooed me in the face. 
Look at this tropical ass environment. I gotta say, you know, I, early on, I was like, I hope we get some different environments, and they delivered. We've had a pretty sweet variety of environments, but I'm still pulling for that alien planet. Or Tokyo. Or just a, like a, a city at night would be really cool. I don't know if I would say this one's better than the one in Kong, Rikyo, because it's just these little wiener guys, unless it's a different one. Unless that's what you're saying the, uh, the boss is. I bet that's what you're saying. Let's use some critical thinking, Matt. <laughs> he probably didn't mean the dozens of little throwaway bad guys. Maybe. That tail thing is pointless, man. There's no... Though it does make you stop walking, so that's, you know, something to be said for that. Oh, got away. Yeah, I, I, I kind of, that makes sense. Oh, I'm going to pretend this is Hawaii, and it's a secret prediction of uh, Godzilla 2014. Gareth Edwards just played this game over and over again and said, I'm going to rip it off as much as I fucking can. Oops. Loyalty. All those dead squids? Not charred like the others. Uh-oh. They look like they've been drained. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my. <laughs> what is that? Oh, this is, yeah, this is the, I've seen this thing. It's got, it's just got, like, two big arm legs. He's weird. He's a weird one. Oh, I should... Oh, no! He got me! Damn it! How do I break out? <laughs> oh, there we go. I gotta stomp. That's pretty cool. Okay, block. Nope. Don't block. That is stupid. Uh-oh. I think I'm in trouble now. I gotta shoot his goo out of the air. If you know what I mean. Damn it! All right. All right, they're they're ramping it up now. Ramping and cramping. I wish I could run. <laughs> Just oh. oh, helicopter. All right. Oh boy. We just walking. Here we go. I'm just gonna do this. It's like the windmill move from The Simpsons. If you fly into my fireball, it's your fault. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Ah oh, no, not the goo. Not the goo. Fucking gooing me up. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that's where the strategy fails. Oh, no. <laughs> damn it, damn it, no. That is impossible. No. I will not. I'm done. I'm done even pretending like that's a viable move. They were just really proud of that animation. And didn't bother to see if it was a worthwhile move. Oh, this tricky motherfucker. I should have seen the tricky one makes me think now it's tail time baby so I know earlier I was saying this is probably Hawaii but I keep thinking whenever I come up on this little rocky island with buildings I can't help but think Alcatraz which again that's actually another stealth nod to Godzilla 2014 that deleted scene Boom, you're done. Oh boy. Rikio, do you know what the end boss of this game is? Like, because again, like I said, I'm I'm only vaguely aware of what kind of went on in the show, so I don't know who would be 
his like arch nemesis because I'm sure whoever's like the biggest and baddest they're saving for last. I kind of hope it's that cyborg of uh, of the original '98 Godzilla. That would be cool. That'd be a good way to end it. Kind of like that weird Gamera vs. Gamera fight last night. Ah, point with the blue. So am I farther than you then? Because are you the do, by the blue guy? Do you mean that first boss? In which case, I'm feeling pretty fucking cool. <laughs> or like a jabroni for for playing this game for way too long. But whatever. Okay. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's right. I got your goo, motherfucker. Yeah, you you're dead. Oh shit. No, no. Oh he bet. Oh okay. They they're finally mixing it up. It's not just a, a two-segment fight anymore. It's a three-segment fight. Which means more walking. <laughs> so that's... That's something. Oh, yeah. Shot your... Shot your goo, buddy. Just a couple goo-shooting monsters. You know how it is. Boy, you know what would make this really pop? Any music. <laughs> any, just any kind of fucking sound other than his footsteps forever. Like, damn, dude. That could really spice this up. Music's important. That's, that's the... I think it's easy to forget how much it can really shape your, uh, your visual storytelling. You know, imagine, uh, imagine if Star Wars had, like, uh, some corny disco-type music instead of the John Williams orchestral stuff. You know, I bet it would land differently. It wouldn't feel the same. It's not like it would ruin the movie, but we might not still be talking about it. Shit, man, the uh, the Godzilla march. Beautiful. Thought they do, man. What was that? Um, Godzilla vs King Ghidorah, the the 1991 version. They just every time he does anything, they start playing that. And the third or fourth time they they roll that up, it's like okay, it like it seem it starts to seem like parody. Yeah, OB, oh yeah, good, like, geez, especially if you're on a Mac, OBS is weird. It, it really took me a minute to, uh, to figure it out. And I'm still not, you know, I know I'm not using it to its fullest extent. So, yeah. That's why, that's why I stream off my PlayStation 4 a lot, because that is baby shit. That's plug and play, man. You push a couple buttons and you're flying. And I will, and you know, there's, I think there's a widget I can get that'll display chat on here. I need to figure that out because, I mean, I don't mind looking at my phone, but, you know, for other people viewing. And, it, well, particularly on, like, if somebody pulls it up on YouTube, they don't get to see what you're saying. But, but this whole thing has been kind of a cool learning experience. Oh shit, no, 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 the goo. <laughs> That's cool. They're mixing it up. I like that they're mixing it up. Shit, no. He should still be able to, I mean, I, gameplay wise, I get it. But his leg being tied up would not prevent him from shooting fireballs. But, you know, it's a game. That's like um, the first time I played Mario 3 back in the day as a kid. And that was the first one to have thwomps. And I would get killed by them, and I would get mad at Mario for not just going around them. Go around to Mario, you piece of shit. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, okay. DMK, dudes must kick. That wasn't funny, that just worked. MBJ, monster blowjob, of course. P F F R. P <laughs> Penis fart fart rectum. 
Oh no, I threw my pen too far. Damn it. Oh, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson teach you a lot of stuff. Boy, uh, uh, what is it? The square cube law. Everybody loves that, right? Why am I getting mad at that boat? Oh, so hyperactive. It's got ADHD. How can you say that now, Monique? Uh oh. Secret boat. <laughs> Look at this tool. Oh my god, he's got a soul patch and everything. Identify yourself. Hey. That's no way to speak to an old friend, Mickles. Cameron Winter. Riccio, do you know who Cameron Winter is? I want... We went to college together. It's nothing. Richest, most hunkiest CEO. Oh, boy. What a hunk. Look what a hunk. He's got a bowl cut and a soul patch and uh, douchey bifocals. Hot. The last word in 1999 hotness. Ooh, he's the bad guy. Surprise. That mural. Mur mural. They, need to, they needed to pick a font where you could distinguish between N, M, and H. Come on, guys. Take your typeface more seriously. Don't you know some weird idiot will play this game in 2017 and call you out for it? Duh. Oh, man. This is like... I mean, I like the cha The changing time of day is really cool. Uh, visually. And it mixes up the level design. But we're still kind of in this, like, rocky, shallow sea area. I was hoping... Still, still pulling for... Still pulling for Alien Planet. Ricky, I'm glad you think Cameron Winter is a tool, too. Oh, oh. Though I gotta say, was Steve Jobs in the public eye yet? Because it kind of seems like they're going for a, a Steve Jobsy kind of thing. I guess he would have been, right? Because the, the iMac was around this time. I think about iMacs a lot. You remember that? The big... It was like the Volkswagen Beetle of computers, where it was, like, aggressively cute. But, like, instantly dated, also. That big... It was, like, that big, colorful... It looked like... I mean, it was beetle-shaped, too. I guess that's why it makes me think of a Volkswagen, too. And it came in, like, neon... All these wacky neon colors, like blue and green and pink. That was cute. I feel like that was... Because that was, like, right before... Their initial iPod. And I feel like that got people... Into Apple again. It was those wacky ass computers? I can't believe there's no music in this game. You're killing me. I love like, I love video game music just in general. But like, it really it gives it gives your game like some momentum and some life, and a game where you just walk into the right forever. Could use a little momentum and, uh, and life, I think. But, you know. What are you gonna do? Tramp, 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 tramp. <laughs> I love, I'm glad these trucks are still around. I love these little sea trucks. Where's, uh, Dude Man? He, uh, he had all those special, the, like, heavily armored boats and stuff. Those were, those were a little more interesting. Boy, once you get past that first level, the difficulty never changes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh no, what a...
what's this? Uh oh. Migel! Not again. Boy, Migel just keeps getting killed. That greasy little weasel tries to mess with Godzilla's brain. <laughs> okay. All right. I, so I wonder. If, I wonder if this is it. I wonder if this is like uh, if we're coming up on the final boss. It kind of seems like that's what they're building towards. Ooh, no music is artsy. Because everything that's artsy is good. <laughs> yeah, this game was not made by David Lynch, so, like, they don't get to use that excuse. There we go. Yeah, throw, throw that tougher shit at me, man. It was really weird. They gave me a whole level of, of baby bullshit bad guys. Like, I can take it. Any any giant monster game that doesn't give you the option to destroy buildings is weird to me. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's a fundamental part of what we like about giant monster stuff, right? Granted, the scale is, other than that coral reef level, the scale's been fine because they always have that immediate background. Other than right now, the immediate background has uh, has stuff that indicates to you that he's huge, and all the bad guys do because all like ninety percent of the, you know, other than the bosses, it's all been uh, vehicles, so you never lose the sense of scale that way. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I always want smashing up buildings as an option. See, and this is the thing. I'm such a picky bitch about it, though, because then you have games like Rampage or PS4 Godzilla or the uh, Godzilla Generations games where that's all you do is destroy buildings. I'm like, well, I don't like that either. So, like, there's, you got to find that middle ground where environmental attacks are important, but they're not everything I think that's I don't know I think that's what it is I don't know I want somebody to crack this genre the way Red Dead Redemption cracked westerns that's really what I'm, I'm hoping for we'll never get it well we might get it. maybe we'll get it I don't want to say never you know if uh, if Godzilla 2 makes 40 trillion dollars maybe somebody will pick up the license and do something with it Something cooler than Godzilla Smash 3, which, as much as I loved it, you know, it's not the AAA Godzilla simulator experience that we're all dying for. But I liked it, so fuck. That's an option on Twitch, too. I don't know how to stream mobile games, but when you, uh, when you pick, when you pick your game from the drop-down menu, Smash 3's in there. Ooh, look at this choppa! Oh, it's got the, it's got the cool light -em ups too. Ooh, bombies. I love I love games that let you shoot bullets out of the air. Ooh, is this gonna be a one one and done? Oh, they're not splitting it up into multiple things. Weird. Yeah, they probably they probably aren't gonna do a big triple A game. I wish they would, man. Though I mean, God, when it comes to when it comes to licensed characters, I'm I'm still waiting for another game as good as the uh, the Batman games like uh, Arkham Arkham City and Arkham Asylum. Like, get those guys on a Superman game. <laughs> and I mean, I guess uh, Spider-Man games used to be good. Like I remember N64 through PlayStation Two; those Spider-Man games were pretty sick. The new one looks pretty. I don't know if it's... Who knows if it's cool, but... You can do it. You can make good licensed games. You just have to not tie it to, like, the release date of a movie. That's I think that's what made those Batman games work. They weren't, they weren't tied in with a movie so they could take time and make it good. I 
I want to see some good, I mean, other than Spider-Man, I want to see some good Marvel games, too. How cool would a good Iron Man game be? Fly around a big open world? That'd be awesome. I guess Superman could theoretically be the same way. What's Rock... Because Rocksteady is the team that did those Batman games. What are they doing right now? Are they doing Spider-Man? I guess I should... I'll just look... Maybe I'll look it up. <laughs> Instead of... And that's like Retro Studios. We still don't know what Retro Studios is doing either. Because they're... As far as I know, they're not doing Metroid Prime 4, which is weird. So, but that means they're doing something, right? Ooh, bad, bad web slinging physics. That killed, man, I mean, that's, Spider-Man lives and dies by its, its web swinging. Like, that's why, that's why the, 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 like the PS2 era one was so good. They like nailed it. And it was a, it was a solid open world sandbox game too. That's too bad. The reason why I mentioned superhero games is because they have kind of a similar issue that that kaiju games have where they put you in control of an ex like in most cases they put you in control of an extremely powerful character and so the challenge for the developer becomes balancing making you feel badass with making it but then also making the game challenging and not tedious you know <laughs> kind of like the opposite of this like don't get me wrong this is pretty cool but it definitely it definitely plateaued around level two and I don't, I don't know if anybody's really cracked that yet because you either you either make like all the games i've seen and like the the best ones they tend to because like the the atari pipeworks games those are probably the best godzillas right destroy all monsters melee save the earth and to a lesser extent unleashed and those do a decent job of making you feel like a giant monster but really they're more about like a, just being a, a a decent fighting game the the kaiju-ness basically comes down to presentation and they're kind of slow you know, they're not as fast as, like, a Tekken character. Um, but you can't make them too slow. It's a weird, it's a weird conundrum. I get why, I get why nobody's cracked this yet. It's a, t it's a weird balancing act. You know, that's why, that's why PS4 Godzilla, they gave him tank controls, and everybody was mad about that. Um, because tank, you know, I didn't like tank controls back on PlayStation 1. Especially because N64 was out at the same time. So it's like, yeah, you could play Resident Evil or Tomb Raider, where she, you know, where the character controls like a fucking tank. Or you could just play Mario 64, and the direction you push is the direction he runs in. What a twist! Who'd have thought? With a black screen being the only output on OBS. Um. Well. It depends. Now, are you doing display capture it's it's i'll i'll uh we might have to talk about it off stream because i i would kind of need to see a screenshot of what your setup is what i ended up doing i mean like all things in life the best thing to do is just look up a youtube tutorial um because it's so weird obs is not like it's free and it's it's good like it's good useful software but it's not particularly user friendly at all um, it, it took some doing for me to even, you know, to even stream stuff like this, you know, cause you look at some stuff on Twitch and they got a really flashy display. They've got, you know, cool, cool graphics and, and stuff like that. So even just my bare bones kind of setup took me a while to figure out. And I think everybody's setup is going to be different. Um, for me, since I'm on an old Mac, that you know that I think presented some problems of its own. Um. So yeah, it depends on. It depends. Yeah, it depends on your setup. 
I know, and I know that's not very helpful because. But it's 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 yeah the fact that I can't like look at it I can't really give you any helpful info, um, but yeah if you're so like if you're if you're streaming something off your PC I think you want display capture, um, and oh boy it's a whole it's a whole can of worms, I'll get I'll get back to you on that though because I definitely you know having struggled with it myself I definitely want to make it as easy as possible for anyone else who wants to do it especially the vice president of super apartment friends shit gotta get that content out there son oh we got a nighttime level that's cool in a mountain range that's also cool i can pretend this is planet x because i'm in denial <laughs> I do kind of, I do kind of dig this, uh, we went from monsters to blowing up this dude's super weapons. That's kind of neat. Narratively, this game is surprisingly awesome. It's, it's, it's the game itself that doesn't quite stack up. I never thought I would praise a Godzilla game for having a, a top-notch story, but, you know, here we are. This Kaiju Wai has been full of surprises. <laughs> Which is cool. Which I'm glad. I went in thinking, oh, I'm going to play a bunch of mediocre games about characters I love. And it's been a little bit that, but... It's been so much more. It's a kaiju -like miracle, Rikio. Oh, you got it working? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm such a... Such a badass. You know, it's it's weird. It's it it definitely there's a lot of trial and error. There's a I mean, most of my use of OBS has been trial and error for real. Ooh, they're taking a chunk out of me. I gotta get some health back. They're they're lighting me up now. I know I was goofing on the the difficulty earlier. There we go. Let's heal up. I was getting sloppy. Oh sh oh god, it's a building. Oh, he made the bees. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Oh, uh, that's pretty awesome. N no joke. I, I, I hope that doesn't come across as sarcastic. This is a cool boss fight. And I was just whining about... Um, I wish there was more building fighting in this game. Or more, like, more property destruction. That's That's tight as hell. Oh, damn, they're lighting me up. I gotta get more defensive. Okay, missiles. I got... Shit, block, dumb, dumb. Fuck. Oh, they're gonna kill me. I think they're gonna get me. Ooh, or maybe not. I blew up their missile launcher. Good. Damn, just in time. I was in trouble. That is cool. That is cool. Good pick, Riccio. This this is sweet. Yeah, fuck yeah. Wreck and roll. They saved the they saved the building destruction for like a thematically appropriate moment. Hey, and we got music for it. I think I just beat this game. That's the last we'll see of Cameron Winters. Nice animation. They blew their budget on like a couple cutscenes. That's fucking cool, man. All right. Hell yeah. Got the footage. Woo! Pro one programmer, one graphic artist, one music guy, producer, assistant, QA tech. Special thanks. Extra special thanks. Looking at a team of 20. Lots of thanks, though. Hell yeah, man. I'm jazzed I beat a game. And we got music back. Yeah, there we go. There's that pole dance shot. Work it, girl. Girl. 
Are we repeating the credits? All right. Why are we repeating the credits? Cheryl Moonu Clifton? What a weird nickname. What a weird nickname, Cheryl. Get a life. Oh, here we go. We really did roll through the credits like twice. Oh, because now we're back at the... We're just back at the start screen. Uh, feeling pretty cool. Feeling pretty fucking cool. Alright. So we had options. I wonder if I just beat it on easy. Oh, normal. <laughs> music, yes. Sound effects, yes. You know, it's funny that music was set to yes, because there was almost none. Hard, no. Normal or hard, that's it. All right, I'm satisfied. Uh, so, Riccio, any other requests? If not, if you don't have a request, I'm going to move on to uh, Godzilla the Series Monster Wars. But if you do have a request, I will heed said request. Also, let's look at this menu screen in French. Nouveau parté. Mont de pass. German. U.S. Spiel. Pebwort. Optionen. Alright. Let's just play with the menu. Well, I just did. Smart guy. Smart guy. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm going to give you a minute to think by grabbing another drink. You want to see Monster Wars? Boom. Cool. Um, all right, yeah, I'm still going to grab another drink, and I'll cue that up. Still doing the sweet tea. I started with our brewing company, Strawberry Blonde, because it's great. But then uh, I've got these sweet teas that I'm digging. Back in a flash. I also stole some of Jess's leftover Buffalo Wild Wings because I'm America's greatest monster. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh no. So, Riccio, you used to play Monster Wars and it's the same game? Guess I'm beating a second game tonight. <laughs> Okay. Here, let me show you my guts real quick. As in behind the scenes, not me. Boom. All right. I can't believe they made two of these. <laughs> but you bought one of them, dude. Grave Entertainment. Look at that 90s ass logo. Yep, same team, Crawfish. Oh my god, it's the same game. They just changed the... Oh, that's better, though. They definitely reused... They reused some assets. Including the music. Oh, boy. They didn't even... They didn't even put the word Monster Wars in the title screen. We're in for a treat. Still in German and French. Still got... Oh, but they changed... They changed the order there. You know, before it was new game password options. So it's a whole new game. What if that's the only thing they changed? <laughs> Ooh, I can give myself more lives? No. Difficulty part-timer. Ooh, this game's got a lot more attitude. Uh, <laughs> again, they picked this font where N... M and H all look identical. So this difficulty is M the Mam. 
or I the ham. I guess I'm a part timer. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. Heads up, people! Urgent email from Nigeria. Another hutation. <laughs> I'm milking this. You bet, Heikels. Ooh, the Mongolian death worm. That's another thing I, I knew about this show. It seems Hother Hatcher. Oh, I'm back with Hygel. What the fuck is Hygel? He keeps talking about it, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's this. Oh, they gave me a cursor, though. Ah, this is kind of like, uh, kind of like what we were talking about on that great move. Ooh, and then select, they got rid of the pointless tail whip to make it fireball. Oh no, the pointless tail whip's back. Thank goodness. And then I choose when to walk. Okay. Oh, this is, this feels clunkier, actually. I liked better when the walking was automated. Weird. The background looks nicer, though. Ooh, and the, the, the helicopter looks nicer, too. The sprite work is better on this. Though I recognize those clouds. This is weird. No music, though. Oh, and no footsteps, either. Oh, look at that doom buggy. I kind of miss the footsteps. Ooh. Ooh, I can bite. What is that thing? It's like a bird. <laughs> I mean, I know it was a plane. <laughs> and Because it, it wasn't Superman. Uh, <laughs> but it looked dumb. Oh, health pickups? My health doesn't regenerate? Gotta say, Riccio. Uh, this game is clearly way harder, and I liked, uh, I think I liked the other one better. I'm not, I'm not beating this one. Well, though the first, the first one I had to lose, like, five times in a row on the first level, so maybe that's, maybe that's just what I'm doing right now, is that, that due diligence there. How do I, I want to do the stomp. Man, I was, I, the stomp was my bread and butter for these little dudes. I'm boned. Oh, see, and I'm paying too much attention to the crosshair now. Because bef I think it's easier to just judge it based on how his head's pointing. That's weird. I don't know how. I don't know how to make the stomp happen. Boy, I never thought I would. Uh... And he didn't take the health power up. Fuck. I never thought I'd be nostalgic for uh, the previous game, but here I am, wishing I was playing that one. His eye doesn't open. Mm, boy. Boy, oh boy. Uh, Riccio, you gotta dump this zero and get yourself a hero, which is the previous game. I'm gonna just imagine the music from the menu screen. So how do I get power up? Cause I walk through it and it just disappears. Ugh. This one sucks. <laughs> oh my god. I'm such a baby. Boy, who knew they had perfection with the first one? No, I'm gonna keep going because we're oh yeah, it's like we got about 20 minutes left, so I'm gonna go for it. Maybe I'll crack. Maybe I'll crack this and and get going like I did with the first one, cause that I had a, a pretty fault, pretty pretty uh, large number of false starts with that first one. Though I notice I'm not leveling up in this one either. And the leveling up really uh, saved my ass. I 
think this is the farthest I've made it. Which is not great. The pick up the help, the power ups are impossible to get because they disappear by the time you get to them, or they just go through you. Fuck you, game. Uh, good grief. Blam! There we go. His uh, that power up looks like the Austin Powers male symbol, which you know, time period matches up pretty good. This is the 20th anniversary of Austin Powers. I forgot about that. Or this year. I think it passed in, like, March. But, uh, happy groovy anniversary. And Austin Powers definitely became a, a boondoggle, kind of like Shrek did. But that first, I stand by that first movie. Wow, this sucks. <laughs> This is a clunker. <laughs> I'm going to stick with it, though. Oh, another hutation. All right. Six hundred points. Those human beings are only worth about two hundred points. How sad. Choppers worth three hundo. Ooh, ooh. Boy, video games kind of say something dark about uh, the value of human life, don't they? They value hardware more than human beings. Edgy game. Pretty edgy. There's, I, I do not foresee me uh, making it very far. Ricky, I can see why you did not get far in this one. This, this version is way harder. And way less fun. It's blowing my mind. You know, it's it's just it's it's like they always say: you never know what you got till it's gone. They paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Mm, bop bop bop. <laughs> that old saying. I feel so weird without music. I feel naked without there being, like almost every other game I play. There's there's background music. Not Godzilla the series. Fuck that, they say. Nah, dog. Just you and Emmerich Zilla blowing up helicopters. In the desert? With items you cannot use. <laughs> but you made it? You made the, the headbang animation already? I want to see it. Geez, it might be, boy, this takes me back too. Um, you might, your best bet might be to see if you can rip the sprites and make like a GIF out of it and just, a just animate it yourself in like Photoshop. Ooh, this, yeah, this, hmm. So I gotta, okay. Ow. So you gotta walk for, I guess I don't have to keep walking forward. I can just chill. But, like, walking forward and then also trying to aim down at the same time cramps up the old hand meat. I don't like it. Kia. Look at who I can hit with this. The answer is nobody. I guess I could hit this guy, maybe. Nope. No, sir. Nothing doing. Who boy. <laughs> am i kidding you about what how bad i am at this game let's not forget i fucking beat the last one in one go this game is harder and less cool we're not fighting cameron mitchell or whatever his name was This is not really a monster war. It's more like Godzilla's in Desert Storm for some reason. <laughs> B 
These unusable pickups kill me. Like why, man? You're just you're just torturing me with that shit. Man, I missed that regenerating health, too. That was awesome. That felt very Godzilla-y. <laughs> Animated gifts are for losers. Okay. Oh, shit. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's, uh... Yeah. Seven lives it is, baby. Maybe I can make some progress. Probably not. Okay. Rikio, if you've uh, if you've got any suggestions, because you cause since you played this one, I'm thinking maybe you might have some bitchin' stratego. That, because boy, my brain is just stuck on that last game, so I'm forcing myself forward constantly because it just it just feels right. The blam, the blam. Hmm. All right. Shit. I don't know what I don't know what combination of buttons makes him do the stomp in this one, because it's not select like it was in the last one. Damn. He goes down like a chump. Chumperino. All right. All righty. Bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, bam. Blam. Blam. <laughs> I missed the footstep. Boy. That first one is way better. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird that the that the other one was better. Okay, I have to I have to breathe fire on the power ups. Alright, now we're getting somewhere, maybe. I think this is the farthest I've been yet. So that's something. Yeah, give me that awesome powers logo, baby. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, I don't know what that does, but I want it. <laughs> yeah, that red hot walking action from the first game that I crave. I love animated GIFs. You're crazy. Ooh, what's the letter C do? Claw swipe. I can see what they were... I can see where they were coming from with this. Like, let's not just have you... Let's not just let points be how you level up. Let's make it... Tail whip. Fuck yeah. Okay, there we go. Shit, I think that's my first successful use of that. Alright, it's kind of coming together now. Kind. I still like the first one better. Alright. Yay. Oh, let's get that freaking password. That's for sure. Oh, and I threw the pen. Damn it. All right. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad we're on the same page with gifts. I don't know if I would have the patience to make them either, but I do love looking at them. N-L-D. Nerds love dick. G-L-L. -L, girls love uh, oh, I couldn't think of a funny L word. Lips? That's not as funny. B B M T. Big butt matte taint. <laughs> that one boo 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 backfired. <laughs> Made the video, but you don't like it. Hey man, that's that's just step one. That's just a, a rough draft or a dry run. 
Or, like, you know, you can move on with your life also. You don't have to make this stupid thing that I was like, it'd be cool if this was a thing. But, uh, Adventure Time had a really great quote that sucking at something is the first step to getting good at something. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. I think I think the only change that I made was that in the original quote, they say sucking at something is the first step to getting kind of good at something. Look at these goof-ass tanks. Um, and I, I, I like to be a little more positive with it. Gotta crawl before you walk, motherfucker. I like that when he dies, he backs up for a second and then flops forward. Alright. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Boy, I don't know. That first game was like lightning in a bottle, and this is like a fart in a bottle. Where, like, it's kind of funny, but <laughs> not as cool as lightning. Oh, yeah, give me that letter S, baby. Foot stomp. Oh, give me that health. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, no. Little adorable army men. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be? This is... Ah, what a dump. All right. Man. This makes that other game look like a fucking classic. Which is amazing. Ah, oh, remember when the final boss of the first of the first game was a building and it actually ruled? Cause you were blowing up evil uh, Steve Jobs. That game's kinda awesome. I don't know if that's just me being butthurt about this one, but in hindsight, man, that first one's pretty cool. What's this bite move? Oh, it's pointless. <laughs> I guess I'll save that for a boss if I ever see a boss. Nope. I like how everything on screen explodes when you die. Makes me feel kind of cool for dying. I never really understood Screonk as being the onomatopoeia for Godzilla's roar. Because, as you just heard from my spot-on impression, to me the Godzilla roar always sounded like... Which is which does border dangerously close on the uh, the old Tim Allen noise, but uh, not Screonk. Maybe a little bit. Screonk just makes me think of like a cyborg donkey. Can I go backwards now? So damn man, if you pass a if you walk past a power up, you're you're boned. Well, we'll have to, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day, Riccio. I'm curious about it. Will you send it to me? Like, if you want to just email it to me or something? Because I'm, I'm deadly curious. And who knows? Maybe you're just being your own harshest critic. Maybe it's awesome. Did you ever think about that? You fuck. <laughs> oh, good. The stomp that I don't know how to do. Did it for me. Yay. I'm amazed I made it to the second level. This is hard as shit. Oh, fuck you, tanks. Tanks for nothing. That's right, that pun just happened. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. 
Be beep. Yeah. What was Dune Buggy? These party animals coming up on me. The the planes are harder to hit in this. People are easier to hit in this though. What a trade off. What's this boner rock in the background? Hello. Bruh, dead. <laughs> you tried to make it sync with the song? That sounds awesome. I'm on board. I'm in it to win it, Riccio. It's going to take more than one rough draft of a video to get you thrown off the board of directors for Super Apartment Friends, my man. Don't even sweat that shit. Buster. I don't even need help yet. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. You know what I don't miss? Um, all of, uh, like, the Godzilla font being this green and yellow ugly shit. There's some 1998 looking stuff there. It looked cool at the time, though. No joke. I remember thinking that font looked dope. Oh, man, it's like the letters are exploding with green stuff. That's what I said. The chop... Oh, I'm making it past the PP rock. Oh, yeah. Progress, baby. Back to another tent city. <laughs> Where I blow up insurgents, I guess? Oh my god. Why am I in Desert Storm? This is exceptionally bizarre. Alright. When do I fight a monster? I just I called it Monster Wars. I've still not seen a monster yet. We've been playing this piece of shit for like half an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> ba blam, ba blam, ba blam. Yeah, give me that G. Oh my god. Ooh, your editing software keeps crashing. What editing software are you using, just out of curiosity? Oh no. All right, this is it. This is my last life. And then I'm done for the night. We're going to see what I can do. I would like to see a monster. Before, I mean, other than Godzilla, before I quit. I would like to see an enemy monster, but I have a feeling. Got a sneaking suspicion. That ain't happening. Ooh, I need that health. And I can't get it because it's too close to me. Because that's how power-ups should be. <laughs> if they're too close, fuck it. You can't have it. Blip, 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 blip. Wow, that was fast. That was a quick one. Game over. Okay, yeah. Hat's a wrap. RIP in pieces, Monster Wars. Man, this one sucks. If you're going to play a... If you're going to play a Game Boy Color... Godzilla the series game play the first one that one was I mean the middle two or three levels are a little bit of a slog but like it's fun or at least more fun than this Jesus uh, but yeah this is Super Apartment Friends I'm Matt this is Kaiju Lai we'll be back uh, same time next week next Thursday 10 p.m. to midnight Eastern time so tune in for that um Rikio, if you've got more requests, throw them at me. If there's anybody else watching, same thing. Throw me your request. Um, but yeah, this has been uh, this has been a fun thing. So so far, so far we've done Godzilla, Gamera, and Ultraman. I need to squeeze in a King Kong game and something with Mothra, and because that's like my that's like my fearsome fivesome. Those 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 are my big five. 
So I want to squeeze those dudes in. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, too, also want to get uh, Primal Rage and Rampage in there, too. If I hit all those, I'll feel like I've done Kaiju Lai Justice. Uh, but yeah, this is fun. Rikio, always a pleasure, man. Thanks for stopping in. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're done, though. Um, yeah, have a have a super apartment weekend, and uh, keep having a kaiju tastic kaiju lie. Right, bye bye. You're the best.